Good evening class. Today we are going to be going over calculus integration with substitution. Here we see an integral of x to the third power divided by 1 plus x squared raised to the third power. First, we want to do a u substitution for 1 plus x squared. du represents the derivative and that is equal to 2x dx to then divide both sides by 2x and place 1 in front of du to represent 1 times du is equal to du because we want to be able to see the fraction that we need to pull out of 1 half. So we pull out 1 half and then there's still an x in the denominator. So now the function becomes 1 half times the integral of x to the third power divided by x, or x to the first, times u to the third du. Now we need to solve for x after we do the quotient rule in the next step. So 1 half times the integral of x to the third power minus 1 divided by u to the third du, which is going to be one half times the integral of x squared divided by u to the third power du. So when we solve for x with the function u is equal to one plus x squared, we subtract one from both sides and obtain u minus one, and then place that in parentheses and take the square root to both sides and we will obtain the function of the square root of u minus 1 is equal to x. So now, we have the function of 1 half times the integral of u, the square root of u minus 1 squared divided by u to the third du. Now that is going to simplify to 1 half times the integral of u minus 1 divided by u to the third power. And then notice that I put a power of 1 above the u in the numerator because eventually we will be doing quotient rule after dealing with monomial calculation. Monomial means one term, and that appears in the denominator. So one half times the integral of u to the first power minus one du divided by u to the third. So this becomes one half times the integral of u to the first divided by u to the third minus one divided by u to the third du. So it's going to be one half that's the integral of 1 times u to the 1 minus 3 from quotient rule. And then we bring u to the third to the numerator for laws of negative exponents. So we will have 1 half times the integral of 1u to the 1 minus 3 minus 1u to the negative third du. So this is simplified to 1 half times the integral of 1u to the negative second minus 1u to the negative third du. So now we integrate, and this is an indefinite integral. So this is going to be 1 half times 1 u to the negative 2 plus 1 divided by negative 2 plus 1 minus 1 u to the negative 3 plus 1 divided by negative 3 plus 1 and this will yield 1 half times the function of negative 1 u to the negative 1 minus 1 u to the negative second divided by negative 2 and this will yield 1 half times negative 1 u to the negative 1 plus 1 half u to the negative second plus c. After all the integration 
results, like in the previous two steps, I have plus C as well. After you integrate an indefinite integral. So this will yield negative one half u to the negative one plus one fourth u to the negative second plus c when we distribute the one half through. So now we replace u with one plus x squared. So it's going to be negative one half times one plus x squared to the negative one plus one-fourth times one plus x squared to the negative second plus c. So, following laws of negative exponents, it's going to be negative one-half times one divided by one plus x squared to the first power plus one-fourth times one divided by one plus x squared squared plus c. So this will simplify to negative 1 divided by 2 times 1 plus x squared to the power of 1 plus 1 divided by 4 times 1 plus x squared squared plus c. If you need one line math tutoring, please text 559-744-3169 for services. Please donate on the Cash App with the dollar sign up front, MLB fan. Again, please donate on the cash app with the dollar sign up front, MLB fan. Let's make math fun and let's learn together.